Hello, welcome back. Another week, another trailer. This week we are reacting to the Oppenheimer trailer. I hope I said that right. <laughs> no, I'm pr I'm pretty sure I, I got it right. Um, I do not know a lot about this movie. Um, I just know I have seen a good couple of things about it. I, I like... You know, on my Twitter sphere, I don't know what you call it, on my feed, oh, I know it's called a feed, in, in the in the realm of Twitter that I see a lot of, like, news about things on, I've seen a good couple of tweets on this, well, about the movie that'll come out on the trailer, so I can't exactly say I know anything about it, but I've seen some, like, some buzz about it, so I assume it's going to be a popular one, it's obviously going to be... It's about, um, oh god, did they give me a synopsis, a, a, a synopsis, oh, I can't say anything, it's about, oh, just give me the, I just don't want to be wrong that it's about, um, the w bomb and the world war, right? I don't know, about atomic energy, oh my god, all I do know is, I did google it, a couple of days ago, so therefore the information has already left my mind. But um, it's got a f it's got a stacked cast. Like there is famous people just just like lined up to get in this movie apparently because it's got Cillian Murphy, who's the main guy, Oppenheimer, Emily B Blunt, who I love, like oh she is the best, Matt Damon. Robert Downey Jr., Louis Strauss, it's got, um, oh, what's his name? Um, he's, he's from The Boys, I can't remember it. You know, Huey from The Boys, <laughs> I feel bad that I don't remember. It's got Florence Pugh, who is just in everything these days. I'm not mad about it, but <laughs> she is in, like, everything ever. You, like, see a trailer these days and you will be like, oh, Who's, oh, it's Florence Pugh. Okay, makes sense. And I get it, because she's really fun. Um, I like all those, like, doesn't, she has, like, she does, like, cooking or something. I don't know. I've seen, like, clips of her. She seems like a really funny person, like, a really cool person to hang out with. So I'm not mad about Florence Pugh being everywhere. She just is, and it's, it's crazy. She is, like, in my mind, it's, like, she is now what Jennifer Lawrence, what, you know how Jennifer Lawrence used to just pop up in, like, heaps of different stuff? You just, like, see her in everything. She's, like, the it person. Sorry, this has gone from me not knowing what Oppenheimer is really about, only, like, vaguely, um, to a Florence Pugh TED Talk, which it shouldn't be about. <laughs> um, so, let's watch the trailer, and then I may know something. Um, but, yeah, like and subscribe. This is a national emergency. Detonator charged... Oh my god, was that, um, Josh Peck? Maybe not, but it looked like it. <laughs> me, this is just a me trying to figure out who the fuck's in this movie. And I know what it means. Gee. If the Nazis have a bomb. Okay. Have a 12 month head start. Okay. How could you possibly know that? We've got one hope. This is like it would be industrial might and scientific innovation. A really tense movie. Secret laboratory. Keep everyone there until it's done. Oh Jesus. Okay. Let's go recruit some scientists. Build a town, build it fast. If we don't let scientists bring their families, we'll never get the best. Oh. That seems a bit mean. Who knows how long. Because you can test bombs in the middle of nowhere, Why? can't you? Why? How about because this is the most important Whoa. thing that ever happened in the history of the world? The world Oh! Is that Einstein? I mean you'd have to assume with that look. Are we saying there's a chance that when we push that button, we destroy the world? Chances are near zero. Yeah, but <laughs> that means one from theory alone. Zero would be nice. Yeah. God, I couldn't even 
Imagine a bomb that could just destroy the world. But I can perform this miracle. Ooh, miracle? World War II would be over. Our boys would come home. That's happening, isn't it? Ah, she got her line in for the trailer. Thank God. Oh my God, are they testing it? That stresses me. I've seen like the like things about like what you do when you like see one go off or like you feel it, and that was so stressful. Like watching someone who's been through it, I think, like talk about it. We're gonna see it. Oh god. Oh, hi Robert. Oh, I'm getting chills. I'm stressed about- the oh, you can hear the um- what is that called? I don't want to get it wrong. It's a- Is that a Geiger counter? Truman needs to know what's next. What's next? Oh, I'm stressed. Like, for the radiation? What's next? Oh my god. Oh, that was- that was serious. Okay, I need to figure out- is that what it's called? A G oh, judge, you hate it when you type something into Google and it's just not working. Um, yes, I think I was right. Okay, I I have got something back for my brain because um, that makes that sound. That was really cool. I, I guess it'll be in the movie too, and it makes obviously heaps of sense. But it's just it's a really interesting and kind of cool sound to add in that tense moment because it's like another layer of like oh shit like we know what's going on but when he's like oh could this bomb destroy the world and he's like mm, probably not like close to zero like the, the like obviously that bomb is like fucked like a atomic bomb that's the one we're talking about right um don't they have bigger than that now is the because they have i know the name of the, of the uh, is it the tsar bomber is that bigger than the atomic bomb? I know nothing about bombs. I'm really tr just, tr is what is it saying? Treading water here, fucking not knowing what's going on. But, <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I'm thinking in my head, um, is that bomb bigger than the other bomb? But when he's like, a bomb to destroy the world, like it's f like, any bomb that's this big's fucked, any bomb that's that big and does that much damage, all crazy, really scary, like the radiation it leaves behind is like horrific, but to think and fathom of a bomb that blows up the entire world at once, because like obviously um, an atom bomb or whatever sort of bomb, they only do an area, an ungodly area and a horrible amount of area, but they don't, you know, they don't destroy the world in one kaboom. To think about that, and to think of just in general, that stresses me out so much. And like, would... <laughs> Sorry, I'm on a completely different... They said something, and it is stuck in my mind, and I could have a nightmare tonight. Um, <laughs> I'm like, if you de like, if you detonated it somewhere, would... The blast, like, would it crack the... Could it crack the world? Or is it the explosion that would, like, blow up the world? You know what I mean? Because I'm hoping, sitting on our island over here, that we would maybe, like, survive. But if he's talking about destroying the exact... If it's one bomb to destroy the whole world, I think everyone's dead because he said the whole world. But, wow, that's crazy. Bombs scare... Everything scares me because I'm an overthinker. Um... <laughs> like, I don't like guns, let alone um, mass destruction bombs, um, because I don't think anyone, or like a lot of people do, <laughs> but wow, this movie, sorry, let me get actually back to the movie, this movie looks like it will give me the absolute most stress ever, but it does look very good and very interesting, like, it's a thing that happened that... I do not know a lot about, so, you know, it's always good to learn. Um, it seems like a very informative movie. I don't know, like, how much of it would be dramatised. Obviously, they have to, because it's, it's a movie. Um, but, yeah, I think it would be very interesting to watch, to, like, you know, it's probably good to see. It looks good. It's got a lot of good actors in it, so, uh, yeah. Um, 
I'm definitely, I'm not excited for it <laughs> because I'm already stressed by it, but um, I definitely will want to see it when it comes out or when it at least comes to streaming. But yeah, that was my rambling through the Oppenheimer trailer. So, you're welcome for this. This was horrible. <laughs> I'd like to formally apologise for not knowing anything and um, freaking out. But I hope you enjoyed some of it. <laughs> if you could. I hope you're having a good day. I hope to see you in the next one.